and we're back. And we're back. For we, you by spam. <laughs> or not. We just had a great discussion. Of course, it's never with the damn camera on. But we were talking about kind of health care and all the other happy horse shit. But that did come up with a good concept for the dating discussion. The dating, dating. Midlife dating. Midlife dating is not easy. No, no. But I look at it from a different point of view. A, if I want emotional ass-kicking, I have a seven-year-old daughter. But I also look at it... But you can't be as, just a parent. No, but I look at it from a different point of view as to I've got a young child. A, everybody my age, their kids are growing up, and it's time for them to go out and be free and be happy, joy, joy. Totally understand that. But that's not where I'm coming from. B, I can't have people come in and out of her life. There are some people that, right. hey, sometimes you meet people and things don't Especially work out. Because the men are too crazy and you they know? won't come in and out. Yeah, so I can't have somebody. I wouldn't do that. Won't allow that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And lastly, if I'm going to take the time and invest it in any relationship, that has to be given to my daughter. Yeah, but that's but just my have personal. have balance. Yes, I do. So I don't think... Because you're still a woman and an individual. You're not just Bella's mom. Yeah, but since I'm broke and... If I have ten extra dollars, it basically goes to the kid. Although I did, I'm going to admit it, on camera, go out and buy a smoke oh, pack two so weeks ago. Oh, so wait. So you're admitting men are not men anymore. No, I'm not. Then if you're saying you're out of the dating pool because because you're broke. What does that have to do with men being men? Because, you know, when men used to be men, they would show up at your door and take you out to dinner. And try to get to know you. Help me. If I get five minutes, <laughs> I'll crawl over glass. <laughs> No, I no, love but my midlife cup. dating is cup. tough. I can yeah. imagine what a seven-year-old because my kids are but older. But I'm just saying that it's tougher. However, that the as men, midlife women, we're still women. See, as I can look at it, I think we still have needs. Somebody, somebody, and in, in her position where, say, you don't have the kids at home, you don't have anything, you have nothing but freedom. So, although it is my friends that do keep me single too, the ones that are with people, and I know you love each other in your own sick and twisted ways. Because it's hard. But because. Yes, Back but... That's the point. Midlife dating sucks. No, I'm just saying these long-term couples. And they're miserable... Not miserable, but when you fight and you argue, you keep me single. Because I'm like, hell, I'm not putting up with that shit. No. I manage my bills. I do my stuff. So when somebody right. comes into your life, they should enhance it. At this stage of the game in our lives, it should be... That's who you're going to sit down. That's who you're going to have coffee with. Unfortunately, my free time and is only between 11 and 3 in the morning. And then the kid so gets the rest. you're saying that... You do want that. Oh, yeah, but I can't... I mean, I don't need a man to pay my bills. No, it's harder and harder to survive. I mean, come on, I'm going to get a roommate. It's harder and harder to survive. But I have. I can't but have I my still daughter... But I want a man. Yeah, I can't have my daughter go... Relationships are tough. Anyway. Yeah. In so, today's world, the men are messed up. Well... Midlife men. Men are like parking spaces. No. I, the good I, ones I, are taken, the rest I are handicapped. Any, what is it? I do not support any of the... What's that little verbiage that they use when they say how this station does not <laughs> stand by whatever this whack job is? You don't have to agree about. with me. Oh, no, 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 I don't agree with oh, no, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, see, remember when we did that, we talked about doing that thing about... However, let's thing? not get off the subject of yeah. dating, because okay. yeah. I know you just get all, you're a good girl. No, good girl. Yeah, no. I hate when they call me a good girl. Uh, but you don't want to blush. Need you like no, you know everybody. what? I'm a healthy midlife woman, and I want a sexual relationship with a normal, decent guy who doesn't need to lie. Yeah, and he's well, not worried about the image and what's in his pocket because that's what the problem with midlife men. But that, as yeah. wait a minute, as women and single mothers, we're used to being poor and being broke and doing without and living with less and living within our means mm -hmm. and getting the shit end of every stick. We're used to that. In today's world, the men can't handle it. Their jobs are gone, their pensions, their security, their toys, their boats, their fat wallets. They don't know how to just be. Like, we know how to just be. But now, just they should be able to time. appreciate people because it doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> Good friggin' thing. But no, it doesn't take much because we used to have them, you know, yep. not much. But the dating thing... They don't get it. Where, the ones where, where do you go? Where, where, where do you go? I don't know. I, I have no I idea like to go. go. I'm see, still single. I, I like know. to go see bands. I love but, bands. Uh, you know what I mean? Thing. But to go meet somebody, if you're going to meet them in a bar and that... You don't want to meet a guy in a bar because you get drunk. Before child. It was great. It was fun. But afterwards, it's just kind of like, I like going out. I like to see my friends. I probably go out quarterly. <laughs> but You don't go out enough. I did, no, I don't. And I you and when I balance. go out, I want to hear loud music. And that's it. And so I'm happy. So my whole concept is, I don't go out trying to see things. I like to sit back and people watch. And when you get the people, and I'm not saying this, there's 
the women that do it and the men don't do it, but I'm going to be cracking on the men because ah, they're so funny. Back when you were, back in the day when you were hot, that was great, okay? You're now in your 40s, late 40s or 50s, and some in your 60s, okay? And you're still going through those clubs like, I'm that big, hot, suave guy. Um, this, this, this. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that is the funniest shit. I love to sit back and watch. And then you see the little girls going over. Little Buffy runs across the floor. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to go see him. Hysterical. You ever want to go out live comedy club, go to any damn you know what, place, like you get a bunch of me? old women in tight skirts and shit, and a bunch of old men You know what midlife like men need? More ballroom. Hookers. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, that was just the dance floor, but go ahead. I did, you just watch the pickups, or watch people try to pick up if you go to a club. And I, I was never that kind of that girl that guys try to hit on and pick up. I know because I, what, I wear rock t-shirts and uh, my cleavage out? I don't know. Uh, I don't and know. you're a blonde, so I'm sure you've always no, had different experiences. I get kicked out of the brunette club for being stupid. <laughs> 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 but still, men approach you as a blonde, I'm sure it's different. I know it's different. I feel like I get superpowers around blondes. All of a sudden, I become invisible. Really? No. No. Artificial and intelligence, say, thank you very much. You too can, I don't even know the number. <laughs> no, but I've never been one of those chicks that guys hit on in the bar. But I do see them all getting hit on, and it's ridiculous. But those are the chicks that, you know, they're... But they, you know what happens chicks is... Chicks are out, their ass is out, and... But you know what happens is... They're getting is, hit on for what? Is, for the night, or for what? When people are out, yeah, and alcohol, people just talk. Sometimes it works out well, and other times you get a softer. I don't need alcohol to talk. I know, but I'm just saying that's just what we're talking about. I know, I don't get it. That. I just go for the music, I don't care. But yeah, well, like that's it. me. I'm I like to enjoy music, and if people are out enjoying the time with their friends and that, that's great. When you meet somebody, it shouldn't take you away from what, what you, you love. What do you think about meeting people online? Oh, I, I'm, I am a directional rock and a loser magnet, so I'm figuring that I would get the serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the whole oh, online oh, I could. I yeah. Anything. Come well, of course, that's Gemini. I believe anything. Anyway, online you can say anything. Well, and then I'm not putting my picture on a profile, so I'm not doing that either. Well, so the I, whole online thing. Yeah. I don't know, but when you look at what them, happened to the good old fashioned man, we need to go back to the fifties. I want to go back to when men so I want to go back to being on, the, being on the prairie with pot and gold. Flowers I and candy. Him. But <laughs> now I don't even need presents. Good thing. It's, Never the, got it's the thoughtfulness and the gesture. It's yeah, just friendship. It's it's got to be a good time. People it just shows that they respect enough about the date, that they thought you know about what? it enough, that they picked up flowers and, you know what I mean? It's just Hi, I'm calling it you. It meant something to them. I'm talking to you out there. If you like sitting in a backyard and having a little campfire, just sitting and laughing, well then that's cool. I need somebody who's very relaxed, very laid back because our house is hectic. And it's fun. And it's hectic. I like tall, long haired hippies if we're on that subject. I just, I just, somebody who's laid back, likes to be a dad, likes to play and enjoy life. Because once you get cancer, that totally puts everything in perspective. And it's like, man, this is all we have, and what's really, really, really important are the bonds that you make. And if people, they come life and go, simple. life, yeah, it's simple, and then it kicks your ass. But if they come and go, whatever reason, you are meant to meet them and you learn something. So that's why we keep it real. That's why we're talking is because we want to talk keep to other real. people. And want to talk to other people and see do you feel this way do you feel this way about policies do you feel this way about what the city or the state is doing on a certain issue or item email us or text us or text her text her yeah she'll get back to you me I just found out if you want to find out what people are answering to your stuff you look on your timeline so I'm behind yeah anyway we had a wild bitch fit and um, I need to leave to go get my child alright so, this is Bitch Fit Friday. Coffee and, you know, smoky smoke. We will talk to you guys later.